If you struggle to run Volatility 3 in your own Windows machine and struggle to run PS List or NetScan or Hashdump or any other plugin or you have any issue with a simple table configuration, watch my video. In this video, I'm going to go through step by step how to configure and install Volatility 3 correctly and to make sure all plugins, the Windows plugins, working correctly. At the end of this video, I'm going to demonstrate a real memory dump analysis using Volatility 3. I'm going to use NetScan, BaseList, HashDump, Windows Info, and all of these plugins with real memory dump. Let's start. I have my virtual machine with Windows installed on it, new Windows. Uh, this Windows is Windows 11 Pro. To install Volatility 3, you need to go to their GitHub page. Just type in Google or in the brow your browser Volatility 3 and make sure you go to their own GitHub page. To install Volatility 3, it requires Python 3.8 at least. As I, I may previously mentioned, this is a new virtual machine that has Windows 11 installed on it. That means we need to install Python 3 into this machine. To do this, go to your browser, type just type Python, download, and hit enter. Then go to their website, python.org, downloads, and click on download Python. Today's version is 3.13, Python 3.13 maybe tomorrow or after one month or one year, maybe four or three point something. To install Python, just right click and run as administrator. Install now, but before you do this, don't forget to click on add Python path, okay? Add python.exe to the path. This is very, very crucial and important step you need to do. Otherwise, you will get some issues after you install the Python and when you try to run the pip command. After a couple of seconds, Python uh, was successfully installed in your machine. I am usually uh, use a PowerShell uh, and I run it as administrator. Now we need to confirm um, Python version installed in the machine and here is it. It's 3.13 okay 3.13 now let's try to go back to volatility 3 website or the github page and to download volatility you need to click codes and then download the compressed file once it's downloaded depend on the speed of your computer here is it the folder uh, decompress the folder in your machine before you install Volatility 3 and here is it it's in my download you can copy this one to where you need to save it in, in this instant I'm going to save it in C drive in my own computer okay Volatility 3 develop next step it's very very important uh, where many issues get that happen if uh, NetScan or PS List doesn't work, you need to configure the simple table correctly. Download the simple table for Windows. It takes a couple of minutes, seconds, hours, depend on your internet speed. For myself, it's less than 20 seconds, 800 gigabyte. Once you download this simple table folder, get extract it it's up to you if you need to extract it or not it's up to you but for me personally i usually extract it this will take another one minute or two depend on your uh, machine speed and once you get this extracted take a copy of it and paste it on volatility tree symbols directory or folder okay
Okay, here is it. It's uh, compress it. Take a copy of it. The Windows. Make sure this folder, not uh, the parent folder. Copy or cut. It's up to you. And go to volatility folder. Uh, go to volatility tree folder and then symbols double click on it and paste it here now the next step is to install all requirements uh, for volatility tree and install volatility tree to do this one just copy this command and go to your powershell uh, cd where go to the directory where is your volatility is in my case which uh, it's in C volatility tree click enter and now uh, <clears throat> you'll find all the folders that we need to install it run pip tree install uh, dash r requirements.txt is what usually I use and here is it it start installing all requirement for volatility tree this will not take that much, maybe just one minute uh, or two maximum. And here is it. We have an error message here. Don't ignore this error message if you have this error message. As I said, I have a new Windows machine. It's 11. And this Windows machine does not uh, has Microsoft C++. Uh, Microsoft Visual C++ install it on it and this will issue some troubles to you to sort this out you need to go to this website to uh, Visual Studio Microsoft.com and install Visual Studio in your machine if you don't have uh, this and if you got the error make sure don't avoid this error make sure to get all requirements to install all requirements for volatility tree otherwise net scan hash dump and other plugs or plugins will not work okay will not work this will take i think about five ten minutes to install depend on the internet speed and what i have done for myself to be honest i just click on desktop uh, development with c plus plus and i click install and then you will wait a couple of minutes once the installation is finished then we can install volatility tree again to do this again you type pip tree install dash r requirements and here it is it install volatility tree requirements again without should be without any errors let's see Yeah, here is it. It successfully built Yara Python. Uh, the previous year we had. Now I think a couple of seconds and the installation will finish. Here is it. The installation has finished. That means now you have Volatility 3 installed properly in your own machine. To try Volatility 3 uh, plugins uh, and if it's work or not, I have my memory dump and uh, save it in C drive. I will share it with you in my Google, however, Google Drive, however, um, it's large uh, memory dump, uh, I think more than 20 gigabyte. To get analyze the memory dump, you need to type Python volatility.py and then the file location in this instant is in C and the name of the uh, mem uh, memory dump or RAM dump is mem memory dump dot M E M and then the plugin the plugin here windows dot info I'm using first plugin I'm using is windows dot info and this is what I recommend you always to use windows dot info this will provide you with all information with all information about the windows version when this uh, memory dump has been created the version of windows if it's windows 10 11 7 or whatever it is then again the structure of the command is you type python then you run the volatility.py then the folder dash f folder location memory dump in my case dot mem as i said i'm going to share this one and then 
Windows, the plugin you're going to use, if it's Windows or Linux or Mac, in my case is windows.info. After this finish, we will use another net scan where many have issue with that, uh, BS list, hash dump, and all other plugins. Okay, not all, but uh, I think four or five other plugins that I'm going to use. And here is it from this plugin. What we can see this is Windows machine and it run Windows 10 and it run Windows 10. And the system time when this image was created is in 19 of October 2023 from a real system at 4 22 at evening. Okay, now the second plugin I'm going to use is the hash dump. Hash dump plugin this will allow you to to find out the usernames of the windows machine and the hash value of their passwords that mean the outcomes from the next or from this plugin will be the usernames of this machine okay the usernames of this machine plus their encrypted password then i'm sure from this hash dump you can guess out the password of my machine okay as i said this is a real machine that has 32 i think gigabyte of ram wait a couple of seconds sometime minutes and the result will come and here is it progress 100 percent and here is it username one of them the interested one for myself if firas this is the username and here is in the right the hash value of that username that mean you can go to any website uh, or any hashcat or any tools to find out what's the password okay what's the password do it and write that in comment in the comments below if you enjoy my video please hit like share and make sure you subscribe and share my videos with your colleague in the university or college or wherever you study and work the next command is netscan. Many of you will have an issue with the netscan. If you haven't downloaded and installed volatility tree correctly, you will have an issue with netscan. And what you can see here, windows.netscan, it works because progress now 70%. And this will show us the network connections between the device and outside world. Here is it, offset protocol, local address, local ports, foreign address, foreign port, states, PID, owner, and created time and date. Okay, there's many, many information that you can get from just the RAM, random access memory, or we just call it memory. Okay, a lot of information. If you wait a couple of seconds, all of this information will show here in this output. Yeah, here is the information. Uh, the network information there is many many interested uh, interesting information within this output if you notice anything if you notice anything write it down in the comments i know it's just uh, i saw just now Pro proton vbn that mean this machine when when we create the ram dump uh, the vbn uh, run in this machine but i'm sure there is many y you have to stop the video right now and try to notes what else is interesting for for you okay there is many other st established connections some ib addresses and many many other information from just this uh, plugin output if you notice anything please write it down in the comment below and also you can know if i ha if i have google drive OneDrive, or any other a cloud um, services that I run in that machine. Remember, as I said, that machine is real machine that used in ba daily basis. And I'm sure you will find more and more information that I haven't mentioned in my record right now. The outcomes it hasn't uh, finished yet. You need to wait another couple of seconds, minutes uh, to complete. Yeah, it finished right now. Let's try net states commands. Also, net states command works uh, after 
we managed to successfully install uh, volatility tree and I'm sure many of you who are watching my video um, and haven't follow my steps have an issue with net states net scan hash hash dump as well please if you reach this point in my my video please make sure you subscribe share like and write comments what kind of videos you like and next as well and the answer for firas uh, firas's password okay and of any suspicion uh, network activity that you manage to find and here is it net scan result it provides similar result to net states uh, we're about network information and so on and so on okay however let's let's try another plugin let's try another plugin this time i'm going to try ps list this will show us the processes that are run during and while we uh, create the image yeah here is the outcomes from this PSLIS command and uh, clearly it show us there's FTK major there's key pass running and there is many many a proton VBN and many 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 outlook and many many other uh, processes or application that run when we capture the RAM okay when we capture the RAM very very important plugin this one very very important plugin and if you manage to find any suspicion process just let us know the next one i'm going to try is windows cmd line cmd line this will show us all commands that been commands either entered by the user or by the system that been executed or run within the windows machine yeah here is the outcomes from it very very interesting command that mean all i believe all plugin windows plugin are working if you manage to follow my steps if you manage to fo follow my steps by installing python and make sure that you select the path option by installing the c plus plus by following my steps and the simple table where you put the simple table and so on within the machine by doing all of this i'm sure everything will work fine please again if you are enjoyed this video hit subscribe like and share it with your friend don't forget and don't forget to answer what's the password of firas's uh, hash or firas's username the password and what other suspected activities that you managed to find from the ps list and you manage to find from uh, network scan and other plugins thank you very much and see you in next uh, video